few years back, we thought that artificial general intelligence would be an absurd belief. However, many projects, models, and applications have been progressing in development, which has been paving the path for the creation of AGI. It's now almost in the reaches, which is absolutely insane. Today, I would like to emphasize on a project that has been embodying this motto of paving the path for the creation of AGI. This is where I introduce Automata, the evolving, fully autonomous, self-programming AI system. It utilizes large language models like GPT-4, as well as many other large language models, and a vector database to document, search, and write code. It's super powerful, and it's something that will enhance your workflow. In simple terms, it's an AI system that is autonomous and can program, code, and solve ranges of different tasks for you. Now, this is a project that is quite under the radar, so I really wanted to put emphasis on it because it is able to do so much, and I believe it would provide a lot of like beneficial like features for many of us. Just take a look at this example where it's demonstrating how Tomata is able to solve a GitHub issue off their repo. Now we can see that there is this issue and what it does is that it takes the issue and it then queues it up into the actual agents. The agents then processes this issue and then queues it up to various different like agents that help solve it, creates the code for it, as well as the plan to figure out what is needed to help figure out this code. It then follows up on the code and it assigns different roles on making sure that the agent is able to give you the best like generation. At the end, it terminates itself and then it uploads it back onto GitHub autonomously. No human intervention at all. And we can see that you're able to review this solution, which is really, really cool. It structures it really, really nicely and it gives you the code that is solving the issue that was initially provided to the repo and this is just a one small example as to what you can do with this there's so many different ranges of perks and features of automata and this is something that we're going to cover throughout today's video as i'm going to showcase how you can actually create your own agents with automata installing it showcasing some of the features as well as the capabilities so make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and let's get straight into it Hey guys, I started this new consulting business where I'm going to be offering my consulting. So if you're interested, definitely book a consulting uh, time slot with me and I'll make sure that you're going to get the best value out of it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Automata where the future is self-written. Now, this is an amazing, powerful, insane application. Now, I don't just say these words because I'm just boosting it up but it's really really useful and the primary goal is to basically transform itself to become into a fully autonomous and self-programming AI intelligence system which you can actually access right now. Now this objective is basically rooted in the belief that code is essentially a function as a form of memory and when it's equipped with appropriate tools AI can acquire real-time capabilities, which can potentially contribute to the deployment of AGI. Now this term, automata, basically finds its origin in the Greek word automatus, where it means that it's self-acting, self-willed, and self-moving. Automata theory encompasses basically the examination of extract machines and automata as well as the computational challenge that can be addressed through them this is a really detailed and intricate framework that we're going to be covering throughout today's video so with that thought stay tuned and let's get to the next step where we take a look at some of the key features as you mentioned at the start this is quite intricate and it is a system that is highly intelligent it makes it super powerful and it helps you with different ranges of tasks that you wanted to complete with programming coding and such forward we can see that there's key features that are associated with ai deployment experiences as well as fostering interactive and depth features we can see that they have a quite thorough examination as to how they illustrate examples and API with their documentation. So if you're interested in this, I highly recommend that you check that out in the link in the description below. But in terms of the features, there's five key features associated with this 
actual intelligence system. We have embeddings, which are comprehensive documentations on generating code. And these embeddings are for the Automata interpreter code base. It's basically replicating what Open Interpreter did, but with this framework of Automata. Now, code and documentation generation is another feature, which is something that guides AI agents for creating extensive code and documentation. And it serves as a foundation for Automata's self-programming capability. We have indexing, which is tutorials on creating and utilizing different search engines within the overall agent. We have execution, which is a detailed information that regards the execution of advanced coding tasks. Then this is using downstream tooling. Lastly, we have Automata's Agent, which is a comprehensive guide on running Automata's Agent, and it encompasses both straightforwarding and intricate instruction execution. If you would like to access our private Discord, which will give you access to free subscriptions to AI tools, you have networking opportunities, collaborations, multiple group calls, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed the world of AI, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get straight back into the video so how can you actually utilize this well you can definitely open this up within code space but i'm going to be showcasing how you can actually install it locally now they have an installation setup which we're going to be following through but there's a couple things that you will need before we move forward you're going to need to have poetry installed you're going to need pip as well as git now once you have these three things installed you also need visual studio code so that you can execute and play around within the terminal within that code editor. So once you have these things fulfilled, we can move forward. But first things first, what you need to do is go all the way onto the repo, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Copy this link by clicking on this green button. Scroll back down to the setup tab. Once you are here, you wanna open up your command prompt, type in git clone and paste the link and click enter. This will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. And once this is done, we'll move forward into going into the actual folder and start installing the required requirements. Once it has finished cloning, what you can do is go back onto the repo, type in CD Automata. So you can just simply do that. CD Automata, click enter. Once you're in this actual Automata file, what you'll need to do is installize Git. And this is by copying this command and then pasting it back into command prompt. This will take a couple seconds. Once this is done, we can go back onto the repo and copy the command to install poetry as well as pip. Once this is done, it'll take a couple minutes and then we can move forward by copying this so that we can configure it and run the actual environment. So this will take a couple of minutes. So I'll be back once it's done. While this is installing, one thing that you want to note is that there is an option to install this with Docker. So if you want to do this, it's an easy way to also set this up. But in this case, I'm going to be showcasing how you can set up the environments and start installing it locally onto your desktop. So once this has finished configurating, I'll be right back. So now that we have basically installed all the requirements, we're going to now set up the local environment. This is by creating a Python virtual environment and activating it. So you want to copy this, paste it into visual or command prompt, sorry. And you're going to be able to activate this environment. Now, Python three, I don't have that. So I put, got rid of the three and activated this local environment. Now you're able to copy this command and basically paste it. It's not going to work for me because I don't have source, but in my case, I'm going to figure this out and put the command for Windows and I'll be right back. I always keep forgetting this. For Windows, you need to use activate, not source. So make sure that you use that. If you have a Windows computer, you don't use source, you use activate. Now, once I have activated the environment, you're gonna need to install the project. This is by copying this code, pasting it over here on command prompt. This will start downloading all the requirements that are needed to make Automata functional. So this will start installing the dependencies. And once this is done, we're going to need to set up the pre-commit, configure the environment variables by inputting our API key. And basically you got to work in this basic step-by-step -step process. 
and it's easy easy as that guys i'm gonna copy and paste these commands in once this is done so make sure you follow through with these commands you paste this one first secondly you paste the setup pre-commit hooks then you set up and configure the environment variables this is by copying the dot and example file into the end file and later on we're going to be going into visual studio code and inputting our api key as well as inputting your github key now if you're going to be utilizing other apis they have a section as to how you can embed and create different apis and integrate different like ranges of like applications so if you're interested in all this definitely take a look at the repo but in this case i'm just gonna give you a good way or an easy way to set this up so that you can basically install this once you have inputted your api key what you'll need to do is fetch the sub models install initiate git lfs and basically it tells you which operating system you'll need to do this for if you have mac you will follow through with this installation but if you have other methods you follow through with installation that is stated over here so basically do the exact same thing follow through by fetching the sub models and then installize get lfs so this is easy once you have that set up we can move forward now basically you have two ways to basically add on after you have installed the following requirements you're able to create your own embedding as well as basically deploy your own agent now in this case you can have the agent do many different things such as your code interpreter follow through different code bases program execute different ranges of code as well as the generic agent which can solve ranges of other different types of tasks now to run this system it's fairly easy you copy this code over here you're able to give the instruction as well as the model that you want to utilize uh, you're able to run a single agent in which you just copy this exact code and it just type in the instruction as to what you want to do now if this is quite complex for you and you do not know how this actually works you can just simply go on to visual studio code after you inputted your api key you can go on to run agent you can basically change the default system instruction and then you can execute the code over here and it'll then process the generation for this also you're able to input the api key in the run.agentpy file which is an easy way for you to utilize and start running the agent over here let's take a look at this example where they basically inputted this instruction now this is something that i replicated off their github repo where it states that explain how embeddings are used by the code base and we can see over here after the system instruction is generated it gives this output which states that embeddings in this code base are represented by classes such as the symbol code uh, embedding as well as the symbol doc embedding and it explains the code for it by creating an instance of this code for the following classes and it does it for both of them which is absolutely insane they had it so that it could be autonomously posted onto github which is really really cool and unique so this is something to definitely check out now let's lastly just go over the framework and talk about the future roadmap and conclude this video so how does this actually work well it basically operates by combining large language models like gpt4 and a vector database to create a unified system that's capable of autonomously documenting searching and generating code it starts off by creating a comprehensive code example and documentation we can see over here it takes the raw code docs the conversation github history which is the input that is then sent to the autonomous coordination now this is the system that basically serves as the foundation for self-programming abilities now it then evolves and refines the skills using downstream tools then basically autonomously crafts perfecting uh like perfection like models so what happens next is that it then refines its skills using downstream tools and we can see over here these agent modules are utilized such as the tools ai and memory which makes it an intelligent ai system the future with this project is quite bright as they're trying to achieve a level of proficiency where it can independently design write test and refine complex software systems they also stated that 
They want it so that it can navigate large code bases, have reasons about software architecture, uh, also invent in new algorithms and data structures. So this is something that we should definitely keep an eye out. It's a project that is quite under the radar and not a lot of people know about. It's quite functional and it's something that many of us can actually utilize to this day. So if you're interested in this, definitely check this out. Make sure you turn on the notification bell, subscribe, like this video, definitely follow World of AI on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Definitely check out the consulting business links if you want to book a consulting with me if you want to join our private discord definitely take a look at the patreon page lastly if you guys haven't seen our previous videos i highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas